Please welcome tonight's uh, special guest people, Chris and Jill. <laughs> so, Russell, what are Chris and Jill to you? Uh, this is Chris and Jill. I interviewed them on my radio show uh, because they claimed that they were abducted by aliens. <laughs> Michael, perhaps you'd like to tell us how you know Chris and Jill. This is Chris and um, J uh, Jill, who are... <laughs> <laughs> who are um, fellow members of the Guildford Walking and Dining Club. And finally, Lee, your relationship with Chris and Jill. This is Chris and Jill. They once helped me dispose of a dead body after I killed a man in a car park. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, just trying to add a bit of spice to proceedings. <laughs> um... <laughs> This is Chris and Jill, and right. uh, I once slept in a shed for a whole summer. <laughs> so there you have it, some abducted radio fans, according to Russell, some rambling diners, according to Michael, or Lee's personal shed landlords. David. This absurdity about uh, alien abduction. Well, they claimed it, that's why we interviewed them. What was the story they told you? Um, we read it in the Autumn Gazette and then we interviewed them because apparently they, they met some guy called Zargon, I think. This is about a year ago. And Zargon won... Zargon. He was upset... No, Zargon. 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 It's their story, I'm relating it, Joseph. Yeah, okay. And the... You, the it may the, be their story, you're relating it, but it, but it, but it may also be bullshit you're thinking no, up now. No, so, no, no, no. Zargon no, work at Argon. No, he doesn't! <laughs> But this is where it gets very, very bizarre because Zargon started asking her what this was, pointing at a wheelie bin. And Jill had to explain what a wheelie bin was, which she did very well. And then they woke up, they woke up in a skip the next day. <laughs> where, did he, where did they meet Zargon? I did suggest that maybe they got drunk and woken up at a fancy dress party, yeah. but uh, they, they declined that. Apparently they went to his ship, which looked that a bit like, and I quote, uh, a Yates' wine lodge, but full of aliens. <laughs> Where were they when the ship abducted them? Just outside Coventry. <laughs> were, were, they, were they in the car? They were briefly in the car before they were sucked out of it. <laughs> so they're driving the car, they get sucked out of their car. They're yeah. thinking, what the hell's going on? The car is rudderless, carrying on the Coventry bypass. So then there they are in the Yates's wine bar with all the other aliens. <laughs> I'm sorry, David, but what part of this story doesn't add up? <laughs> it's their story, and what a story it is. <laughs> Um, so maybe you'd like to talk to Michael now. Yes. Um, so, uh, uh, again, the, these people you know from...? From Guildford. Uh, Chris is the uh, Edmund Hillary of, uh, of the home counties. And, uh, and Jill is the Delia Smith of the outfit. Yeah. And, and it is a, a rambling and dining Walking society. and dining. Guildford, you... walking and dining. Which, which bit of this don't you understand? <laughs> we can go out for a walk and then we go and dine. And you, and you go around someone's house to dine? You don't go to a restaurant? Yes, we do. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So what's happened the, the most recent meeting? Where did you walk? Whose house did you eat at? What did you have? Um, well, it was uh, actually yesterday. Right. Yep. And where was the walk? Uh, it was it was in Surrey, uh, near near Guildford. It was uh, Leatherhead. Leatherhead. Who was the uh, who was hosting the dinner? Zargon. Uh, uh, Zargon. <laughs> <of course. laughs> not our house, uh, not Chris or Jill's house, but another uh, couple Can in you the group. Bother to make up the name of two people. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is far too plausible. Yeah, but you haven't, it's you not haven't, a minor you haven't even finished the story yet. Go it's on, a big swingers then? thing and they all get together. <laughs> <laughs> they're not blushing, they're not blushing. What, what's the shed scenario, Lee? <laughs> it's a thing that poor people have in the garden <laughs> to put tools in. <laughs> I know what a shed is. Oh, I see. Sorry. Sorry. Why were you sleeping in a shed? Well, it's a good question, David. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I was, it's when I first came to London and uh, a friend of mine who lived in London, uh, I introduced me to Chris and Jill. I slept in the... In, I rented a room off them, a uh, spare room, and they had renovations done, and so I had to leave. And I, I was desperate, and we came up with this ingenious plan where I would sleep in the shed. When you say shed, you mean like a proper one you see in a garden centre, or is this just... A, no, this a was... It was, covers, well, it yeah, was. No, it, was, it wasn't... Uh, it was a proper shed. It wasn't, you know insulated or, or any of that. Didn't have any electrics, any plumbing or anything. These good people uh, don't look like the kind who would tolerate someone living out in the shed. They look like the kind of people who look at each other and go, we can't have that. We can't have that. We'll put him up at our cities. Yeah, but you say that. Don't let that look deceive you. I mean, because they also once helped me bury a man that I killed. <laughs> <in a shed>. <laughs> <laughs> there is that. I must say, I'm, I'm finding the most plausible story at the moment to be Lee's. Absolutely. There are definitely people in the world who think they've been abducted by aliens. Mm. Radio stations certainly would get in touch with them and try and sort of yeah. exploit their muddle-headedness. We had a fantastic Sunday. Great Sunday. Um, but I think the story would be less... 
I, I, insane. Well, so they, <laughs> and, and, yeah. it's, their, it's their story. Don't mock them. They're good people. They just had a tricky I'm, I weekend. I know I'm in a situation <laughs> where if it turns out it is your story, I have, by, you know, accident sort of mock them, yeah. and I apologise for that in advance, if that is the case. However, I don't believe aliens exist, and there's no getting around the fact that if that is the story, I, I think you, you, you know, you are a bit wrong about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need an answer, so David's team. Uh, are these people Russell's radio abductees? Are they Michael's rambling dining companions or Lee's shed providers? Anton, what do you reckon? I think I'm going for Lee's shed yeah, I think, I think the show, because I think yes, the rambling somehow. society is obviously very plausible, but it's so very plausible. Well, yeah, we'll yeah, go with Lee. Lee. Yeah. Right, they're saying it's Lee, so, uh, well, perhaps Chris and Jill would like to tell us who they really are. We are, in fact, uh, companions of Michael's in walking and dining. Ah. Ah. Please welcome tonight's uh, special guest people, Chris and Jill. <laughs> So, Russell, what are Chris and Jill to you? Uh, this is Chris and Jill. I interviewed them on my radio show uh, because they claimed that they were abducted by aliens. <laughs> Michael, perhaps you'd like to tell us how you know Chris and Jill. This is Chris and um, J uh, Jill, who are... <laughs> <laughs> who are um, fellow members of the Guildford Walk 